Well, a family is grieving tonight after a tragic death. Greg Fusco was playing in a softball tournament as the pitcher in the knock in the Nocatee area when a ball hit him in the temple. And weeks later, he died, leaving his new bride behind. First Coast News reporter Bethany Anderson joins us with the details on this really sad story tonight. Bethany. Everyone tells me that this couple loved each other so much that they were living the dream together. But Sunday morning in a quiet hospital room here behind me, that fairy tale they had came to an end. It's a love story, like the hit movie for love of the game. Would you like to go to a baseball game with me? Well, if she don't want to go, I'll go. High schooler Taylor Blanton meets Greg Fusco. He's older, preoccupied with pursuing a baseball career, and they don't see each other for a few years. But when they do, it's back on the field playing softball. Close friend Courtney Hinkle says that's where they fall in love. And they were always flirting with each other. He is a very big jokester. So he always kind of like picked on her a little, but it was always like the friendly picking. One night after a game, Greg drops down to one knee, holds out a softball. On top, a canary diamond that Taylor picked out before, but said was too expensive. Greg kept it a secret, surprising her with a dream proposal. I think she was speechless, of course. Overall, super happy and excited and kind of like a fairy tale for her. Married on November 18th, the happy couple travels to Hawaii. The following week, Greg heads to a ball game in St. Augustine when tragedy strikes. Playing pitcher, he was not wearing a mask. A ball hit his head, rushed to UF Health in Jacksonville. His wife stayed by him as doctors said his vitals looked good and even expected a recovery. Sadly, less than two weeks after the accident, and just two days shy of his one month wedding anniversary, Greg passed away. The softball league he played in is now strictly enforcing the Greg Fusco rule. It requires pitchers to wear masks instead of leaving it to their discretion. If they are wearing some type of protection on their face, this could definitely help that player. A very sad story that happened with that couple. They just started paying for a wedding, and now they paid for a honeymoon, and now they'll have to pay for a funeral. If you would like to help them out, we have provided a link to their GoFundMe account on our webpage, firstcoastnews.com. Reporting live from UF Health, Bethany Anderson, First Coast News, on your side.